It's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin. Now, I took the material from the bottom and moved it to the top in hopes that it would start drying out. And I really do think it's making some progress here. Um, this bin was started uh, middle of June. It's now the first week of September. Um, so I think it's making some progress. It's definitely not the consistency of peanut butter. Uh, like it was in the last video. So I think we're certainly making progress on this and hopefully the worms will start moving down to the lower levels and by the time they do that then hopefully I can sift this and get the castings out of here and restart the level. So they're starting to break apart really nicely, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Not too much sticking to my hands, so that's good. Look at the next layer. All right, here we are on the layer that we fed last time. This is also the layer that has the towel in it. So let's kind of start digging around. It's got a very good moisture in here. Got some food. This is a mix of the red wigglers, the blue worms, and the European night crawlers. My uh, original Uncle Jim's mix. Looks like we're getting down to the tag on the towel. But looks like they still have more to eat. Good uh, concentration of worms all the way through. Whoops, okay. Messing up my worm, worm ball, dang it. I thought I said at this corner, but I think it's going to be over here. Yeah, there we go. Got the bedding, got, oh, let's see. Apparently there was a bag in with Cece's stuff. Eh, they're going to have to eat around that before I pick it out, I guess. But we do have a good, good worm ball. Still pretty active. Uh, it's dropping temperature here in Illinois where I'm at. Starting to get uh, in the 50s at night. So, um, I would expect that they're going to start slowing down their feeding, um, which is something that happens because the basement, although it is climate controlled, it is not um, entirely well climate controlled. So these guys look like they're doing okay. I could probably give them a little bit more food maybe on the other end. But let's let this play a little bit and let them squirm back down. All right, I think that's good enough. We'll get everybody flattened back out here. And I am going to leave this bag until they clean it. Um, I know some people are going to freak out that I'm leaving plastic in the bin, but... Um, they will be fine. It's not going to break or anything like that, but it will be clean when I come get it the next time as opposed to yucky, which is what it is right now. Let's take a look at the lower level. All right, now last time we took and put the top layer on the bottom layer. We didn't feed any of this. We just uh, let it go. Oh, we did put the uh, pineapple, which still has green. Weird. Let's do a little bit of fluffing here and see how they're doing. Looks like they still have quite a bit to uh, accomplish with the bedding. Looks like they're working on the avocado pit. And they've got corn cobs down here, which they have not managed to get all the way through. So they aren't very hungry if they haven't gotten into the corn cobs. 
There's probably a lot of drippings coming from the feeding from above. Oop, there's one in there. Did you see it? Peaked. Yep. So this is doing good down here. But it is a little bit compacted. So it needed a good fluff. It needed a fluff or I needed to fluff it. I don't know. You can put your comments below. Do you think I do the fluffing for the worms or do I do it for me so I can play with the worms? Hmm. I don't know. Let's say both. All right, I'm not going to feed down here because all of the food from the upper level drips down here and they've they've got enough to play with down here. So I'm going to put the second layer back on and then I'm going to feed the second layer a little bit of food. Okay, so put the that up there and then I'm going to give them uh, one bag of kitchen scraps. All right, looks like a banana, tortilla, maybe some uh, cucumber peels, banana peels, avocado. So we got a good mix of fast food and slow food there. They'll go through that uh, cucumber very quickly, but the, the other food will probably take a while. So let's get this uh, put back together. See if there's any escapees. I'm paying attention now. Last time I didn't pay attention when I put it back together and one of my viewers <laughs> caught it that I had left a worm out on the table, um, which I found when I was shooting the next video and I was like, oh, I don't know which bin this goes to. I'm just gonna put it in with blue. All right, so I feel like I'm kind of wasting the space up here, but these guys do need to dry out, and I think it's doing a good job of drying out up here. So I'm inclined to let it keep doing what it's doing. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, ring that bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.